All right, so welcome to your physics teacher with Mr. Fernando. So I'm here, I'm gonna to try to teach you about what is energy and the definition of work as well. So the first thing we wanna to try to take a look at is we wanna define what is energy. Now, at first, I'm gonna give you a very simple definition. This definition, you're gonna find it anywhere on YouTube, so it shouldn't be that hard to find. Then stay tuned because I'm gonna give you my very unique take which will make your mind blown a little bit. So what is energy? Very simply stated in physics, we say is the ability to do work. Wait a minute, so we're trying to define what energy is and now we're trying to come up with a new term that we have not yet explained. So in order to understand what energy is, then we must explain what is the definition of work, right? So let's try to define what is work. Well, it turns out that work, the definition of it, at least the textbook definition of it, is the transfer of energy all right so this should be confusing right so i asked you to define what is energy and we define it as the ability to do work but we needed to define what work was and work is the transfer of energy so we've gone back in a circular loop so technically you don't know what work is or what energy is in physics they do this quite a bit so what i like to think about it is in physics we have a box And this box is called the box of ignorance. So you're gonna see many textbooks, many videos, and they're not gonna be able to explain to you what it is, and neither am I. So my best attempt at trying to explain what it is, I'm gonna give you an analogy. So usually when the concepts are too hard to understand, we try to come up with an analogy, so that way it is a more friendly definition. So to fully understand what energy is, we're going to think of it like money. So think of energy like money. So then you try to think to yourself, well, how can we relate energy and money together? So. To think about this analogy, well, what are the, some of the things we can do with money? Well, money is equal to, well, at least in the old days, it was a certain amount of gold. So it had a value to it. So money has a value. And this value, it can be related to something concrete that we're very familiar with. So for example, gold. So connected. To gold. Well, what are some of the things we can do with gold? Well, again, we need to think back to the old days. So with money, if we think of it like gold, we can exchange it for other items. Exchange into other forms. So you could go to the market, you can buy yourself. So let's, you take some gold, you take some gold coins and you're like, hey, here, give me an apple. So money can be exchanged. So that's gonna be something like energy. Energy can be exchanged. And if we were to just think of ourselves in one singular room, so in a room, so suppose that this room has closed doors. So what can happen to money inside of a room? Well. All the money inside the room stays in the room. So in a room, all the money stays inside. So since all the money stays inside, the only thing that can happen is, well, money can be exchanged while being inside the room, or in other words, money can go from one person to another word, to another person. So we can exchange money.
And you know what? Newton tried very, very hard. He, he got into alchemy because he wanted to create gold. So that's known as alchemy. Well, we know by now that it actually turns out we cannot just suddenly create gold. So we cannot create money. So money cannot be created. And that's a very important point to remember in this case. Money cannot be created. Now, if we think about money like energy, so what does this mean? Well, energy can change into different forms. If you think about energy inside of a room, well, all the energy in the room can only change into different forms. In other words, it can be exchanged. And energy cannot be created. Now, this is a very old definition of money because what did President Nixon do? He changed the gold standard of money and he changed it into currency. So let's try to see what I mean by this. Think of money like currency. Okay, so now we're going to think of money like currency. So what does it mean to have a currency? Well, if you have the US dollar, so let's say US, and then you want to change it to Canadian, you need some kind of conversion factor. So let's call this C, conversion. So now the US dollar can be represented as something Canadian by this conversion factor. So money now no longer represents something concrete. It's no longer gold. So money is being printed. Now it doesn't represent something like energy because energy is our best analogy to money. Well, it turns out Einstein comes along and he gives us a very famous equation. E equals two mc squared. Well, this is your first time writing this equation, so just by looking at it you feel smarter, where E represents energy, C is the speed of light, and M is the mass. Now I'm going to try to make an analogy here, because remember, what we're trying to do, we cannot explain energy, because energy and work are inside of a box of ignorance. So the best thing that we have is to think of analogy. So now we're going to think of energy like money. Well, from this equation, let's try to see how it's going to help us out to understand it. Well, energy equals to mass. That's really strange enough. It took Einstein level strangeness to think about this. So this C, we can think of it like a previous C. So before we thought of energy very distinctly as we do now. So energy is actually the same thing as mass. These two things are representing the same quantity. Whereas C, the speed of light, turns out that is just the same thing as a conversion factor. So what we're able to do with energy, you could think of it like a currency. So a currency can be exchanged into a different form. And in this case, energy can be changed into different form, mass into energy, or energy into mass. So this new idea that we are suddenly creating energy is not necessarily true. We're just exchanging the mass for energy. So we're going to see in this unit how these concepts are connected and get in for a wild ride and a brain to be blown up. So thank you, President Nixon, for changing the currency and now we're able to think about money like energy.